Hello and welcome to this demo video. Before we get started, I'd just like to explain to you a few things uh, which will relate to all of the basic range spreadsheets. Um, number one, there is a key on the intro and setup tab of all of the spreadsheets showing what the different color headers mean. The blue headers mean that uh, the cell's formulated, so it's locked and you can't change it. The yellow headers are where you can input data and occasionally there might be some gray headers, which is just a different kind of data input, but uh, we'll include instructions as and when that happens. Um, the other thing that you can be aware of is there are ways in which you can damage the spreadsheet. So please do take a look at the link where you see this image, which will take you to a web page to show you how to better preserve your spreadsheet. Um, please feel free to keep a blank version of the spreadsheet somewhere so that if you do mess up uh, a spreadsheet that, you've, um, that you're using, you can in fact just open a new one, a blank one. And some of the spreadsheets only last for a year and then you've got a blank one to start the following year. So do keep a blank copy as a backup somewhere. And uh, lastly, wherever you see this image, you can click on it. It'll take you back to the store where you purchased this product um, to see if you've got anything, um, any more products. Uh, one last thing, to see a demo video, you can click on this uh, on a link that looks like this in order to go to the demo video, but that'll take you to the most recent demo. If in fact we've done upgrades and you're using an older version and you'd like to see the demo relating to your version, then do click on the uh, watch on YouTube link, which will take you to that specific video on YouTube. So I think that's all you need to know. So without further ado, let's move on to this demo video. Thank you. Hello and thank you for looking at the uh, demo for the repetitive task checklist. Now what this is, it's a very, very, very simple project management tool. Now when I say project management, I've done spreadsheets with all sorts of date tracking and monitoring and time and all that kind of stuff. This is not that. This is the simplest, simplest version. And the reason why I've made this one is because very often in business you have those tasks that you need to do um, that maybe have five or six uh, different um, aspects to it that you need to do in order to achieve it. Nothing difficult. Think, for, for example, um, I, when I upload the uh, new products to the website, the new spreadsheets I've made, um, I need to obviously make a demo video like I'm doing now. I need to make the image, upload it, get the right downloads corrected, uh, uh, put the right links in the right places, all those type of things. And there's usually, well, I have a list of 25 things that I need to do in order to achieve that. Um, now, those 25 things may not be difficult. I could probably do five or six of them in, in a few minutes, but they need to be done and they need to be remembered. So what the spreadsheet does is this forms a very, very simple list of things that you need to do in order to achieve something. And you can pre-set it up so that it's ready to go when you're ready to go. So let me show you how it works. Here I've got some types. There'll be up to five types that you can do. The reason I've got types is just that you can kind of pre pre-program it for each of those five types so which tasks you'll need for which ones so for argument's sake um, if i've got four, say three different kinds of products that i'll upload three different from three different ranges uh, there may be there might be a slightly different routine for each of those three so some of the tasks may not be relevant for for um, some of the the options so you can select up to five options you can put whatever names you want there and then when you click on the task progression, you'll see here, you can, when you do a project, you can put the, I've got product, you can put the project name in here. Um, you can put the project name in and then you can select which of those types it is. Now, what that does is, as you can see down the right hand side here, those are the types. If I add another type, it'll, it'll populate the next column. You can then come and select which of these tasks apply to which type so you type in the tasks here you just type in literally just something just a short line so you know what it is that you need to do and then this is the done column when it's complete and then you simply tick which of these tasks are applicable to which of those types so if you've only got one type and that's one you run every time that's fine you only need one you don't even need to populate this column everything can just be ticks just put ticks everywhere you don't have any crosses the crosses mean that this task doesn't apply to that product if I come and change it and go, actually, I'd like to do that task, please. All of a sudden, that one doesn't apply. So you can pre-program up to five different uh, thing, uh, five different tasks or projects that include these same steps. Input all the tasks down the left-hand side here, and then the last two columns are these two here, which the weight 
is merely a um, a number to indicate how how long does that task take so the reason being if I say that this first task takes 65 I've put those down roughly as minutes if I come and go well that one takes 60 minutes now you can see we're 29% into the the task even though we're not we've still got lots of tasks to go but these small these smaller ones and you move it along slightly because those that's the weight it takes that weight into consideration so it doesn't go oh you've done five tasks out of ten you're halfway because those five tasks may be in the quicker ones that's all that does it just affects this top this percentage at the top and then lastly you can put in these numbers here which is your um, order so you can just put that in and then sort that uh, lowest to highest in order to be able to sort these tasks because I thought you might come and go ah there's a task that's missing over here add it in the bottom readjust those numbers resort and then you can sort them into the correct order so that's it and then all you do with this top one you can set it up to this point you wouldn't have the project the the or project product project name in yet you put that in as you as you started a new job you'd come in here and you'd put in the new name and you would select which type it is and then because you've already pre-populated these cells here and the tasks it will automatically change color to show you what's required what's excluded and then all you do as you complete the task is just simply tick off each line once you've done it and as you can see the project uh, percentage is increasing all the time if I copy that and just paste the values down there once I've gotten to the bottom it says project 100% complete and then it's done and then I'll just I will personally just delete this this uh, spreadsheet keep a blank default and save as every time you need to do a project um, so then that all that does is it just helps me to see that I'm I've done everything that needs to be done um, within that task that I need to do and that once it's done I actually just delete this file because the point is keeping this um, and and that's it very very simple uh, just to help you to make sure you don't forget any of those tasks that you need to do so yeah, if that's helpful to you, then um, please do purchase the spreadsheet. If you need something more comprehensive, there are some project management tools in the prime range of products. Um, otherwise, do get in touch and uh, we can chat about a bespoke version. Thank you very much. Goodbye.